Hi, it's Sarah Jane from Access Your True Nature and in this Facebook Live it is Ask Me Anything Thursday uh, relating to your gut health. I've had so many questions from people today and during the week with my clients saying they are feeling exhausted and, and what's going on and, and this doesn't feel right. and how can I change this and a lot of it has to do with the fact that we're out of trust we're out of trust of listening to our bodies hi Laura nice to see you here and I want to teach you today or just remind or plant a couple of seeds on on how you can really deepen into trusting your intuition your gut knowing by improving your gut health and go back to some basics and this is exactly what I've been saying to myself and and implementing with my new dog who's had some huge gut issues going on and and with my family and I want you to do the same for you and your animals so just know that we're made of light and we need to shed light on some of these subjects like all right I seem to have a bad connection today uh, so I'm gonna try and continue and hope I don't lose the signal again I'm walking around and I have some very noisy neighbors next door so um, if you can hear that it's just my neighbors and their kids so we're gonna talk about remember um, in five elements in Chinese medicine we need fire in digestive fire to digest our food in our bodies and also our thoughts and feelings and emotions and also the past our bodies are trying to digest and assimilate and integrate and eliminate the things that no longer serve us on a mental and an emotional and a spiritual level as well as a physical level of digesting food and nurturing our bodies and getting what we need through our five senses in this present moment of just looking <coughs> Opsy, I'm back again I keep losing the signal hi Sheree um, nice to see you here my friend so yes yeah, so this is really for you because we we're having a conversation earlier about how do you do life when you're exhausted what do you do when your digestive fire is perhaps a little bit off in the body and where are we backing up because then everything needs to have flow everything needs to have its own timing and our bodies need to go at their own pace to 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 catch up to all the things that we're we're integrating and digesting on, on a mental level so it, it goes beyond the quality of the food that we're eating um, it also comes to the sort of tending to your inner garden right of of the landscape of what you are what you are planting because what we plant on the inside shows up on the out, outside and I think it was um, Socrates that said that all disease starts in the gut and and this is really where we need to look at what is the irritation what is the annoyance where are we creating inflammation in the body and where are we not listening to our bodies where are we not tuning into the feedback that our body is helping uh, is showing us all the time and and this is why gut health is such a All right, this is um, interesting today. I'm not digesting that the internet is so bad and I keep losing the connection. Hi Grant, hi Tara, nice to see you here. So we're talking about gut health today and how just taking care of your gut and getting the good happy microbes, the microbiome up to increase your serotonin because remember serotonin's made in the gut. Um, so if you're feeling low, if you're feeling exhausted, if you're feeling feeling off if you're feeling depressed or anxious the first place to look is look to your health of your gut because this is this is this is vital to how you can start to change things on all levels because how you do anything is how you do everything and some of you know that um, my new Great Dane rescue uh, rover had explosive diarrhea um, because he's a Great Dane he has come from a traumatic background and he, um, he, he had a really upset stomach. It was a new environment. He managed to shock himself on my electric fence when he arrived, which is not what we wanted to see happen. And, um, and he'd also just had all his, his vaccinations and a dewormer. So there was a lot of things going on with him. And <clears throat> I was really, really worried because he, was, he wasn't doing very well on, 
on Saturday night and I needed to look at what could I apply as far as a healing protocol which to what could have been a life-threatening situation of dehydration and explosive diarrhea that was going on with him that was causing a lot of the anxiety and the and the and the depression that I saw in him as well on top of his story of of having a traumatic start in his life and not having to trust people in the past so you know these are very simple pragmatic ways that you can can start to restore your gut health and start trusting your gut again um, to to lead you into what you need to do and learn more about yourself and expand and get what you need and look at what what are you afraid of or where are you going into doubt and and really start to to take a very hands-on approach approach not just with your own health um, to be your own medicine but to address your digestive health and the, the digestive health of of those that you love including your animals because I know um, so many people that come to me are on SSRIs and antidepressants and the gut is so responsible for so many factors including how it affects your mood and I know um, the side effects of that I was I was put on antidepressants uh, 16 years ago and I felt like a numbed out person and the side effects of that were weight gain and all sorts of other things so education is key uh, start by by just staying with me today and ask me any questions if you have any questions um, and in fact give me a yes if you have ever experienced any gut issues or skin issues because skin issues are another one that come up when you have too much fire or not enough fire too much damp in your body so give me a yes if you can relate to to having um, having times in your life where they're like me maybe you had so much wrong with your diet or so much wrong with your gut because I wasn't eating properly so I had a I had a big candida albicans overgrowth and I was incredibly anxious and depressed and the more I did I got anxious and depressed the less I would eat and the more I wasn't trusting myself um, and I wasn't certainly not not able to trust my gut or even hear what my body was saying because my spleen and my pancreas the place where with discernment was so down and I couldn't I couldn't hear it so just remember that the gut contains more nerve cells than your spinal cord so it's responsible for a lot of what you perceive hi Kelly Heath um, whether you're you're noticing that consciously or not and why do you think gut feelings are so powerful you know, intuitively, we humans know about the wisdom that is very deep, deep, deep in our belly, in our solar plexus chakra, and that our language affects, re reflects that, and affects how we're showing up in the in the in our life. And I know a lot of science is proving that IBS and a lot of mood disorders are triggered by poor gut health, and many antidepressants, which manipulate mm. many antidepressants. Um, are, are very much band-aids and I always say you know what if you're having a bad time <laughs> here comes the puppy hey puppy I don't know if you can see him where is he oh I can't find him to show you but he's there he's he's chewing on a bone right now bone broth is great for your gut health by the way um, don't have a choke are you choking what's happening boy what's happening big boy say hi to the people hey Rover Say hi, puppy. Hi. Say hi, people. Hi, people. Oh boy. But yeah, you know, sometimes uh, your thoughts and feelings and emotions are interfering with with your gut function, and they're causing the symptoms like gut health, um, or IBS, and all of that. And remember, the vagus nerve is the wandering nerve. It goes everywhere through your body and it's like the communication highway that is sending all this information uh, to all your endocrines and body parts and, and and your systems all the time and it's con controlling your mood and your information because it's the key operator of the gut so imagine your digestive organs intricately wrapped in a single long fiber that's connecting from your gut to your brain your gut brain to your head brain and, and there's a big link there that nobody really speaks about. And just know, too, that most of your immune system is, is just below the surface of your intestine. So if you think of your gut as this organ that processes food and digests and eliminates and decides what to keep and what to get rid of, you probably don't know that it also determines how effective your immune system is 
and how much information you're actually producing all the time. And this goes for your dogs and your cats and your horses and your animal friends as well. So even more interesting is that it's not just your gut and your immune system doing this. It's the, it's the bacteria in your intestines that keep you flourishing. That's the microbiome. And it's coordinating with your immune system to keep everything working in balance and harmony in summer, as they call it in Ayurvedic. So if your gut, gut health is out of balance, like dysbiosis, autoimmunity and immune system breakdown gets totally out of balance. And there's two reasons for this. One is that inflammation is now considered the primary biological factor in depression. And there's also a correlation between dysbiosis, the brain, and mood disorders, and also autoimmune conditions. So when you start to realize the impact of your gut health on systemic inflammation, for, for example, you can't deny it's important in healing depression and anxiety, and also just getting vital not being tired all the time, not feeling off all the time. And this is why I like to educate through these Facebook Lives and in my programs and in my private sessions because then you can start to apply things in the certain order, your individual prescri prescription that I cover in my Out of the Blues program, which is 21 days of rebooting your nervous system and restoring your gut health and, and getting your liver strong again. And also how to strengthen your vagus tone. Um, it's a pleasure, Cindy. Um, yeah, so we really want to look at the root cause of what's creating the imbalance or your body to respond in inflammation or pain the way that it is. And here's another thing too, and this is, I think, where the gut appears to really directly influence anxiety. Um, is that scientists have literally found that transplanting um, poop of an anxious person into a, a very calm, laid-back mouse made the mouse more anxious. And this is where either doing fecal transplants these days from healthy people or um, people that are thin into people that are overweight because they influence how we show up in our physical bodies and in our demeanor and in our vitality. And it's tantamount for your healing. So I want to help you to get there before you need a fecal transplant to improve your gut health and in doing so, be able to heal your brain and rewire your nervous system and really trust your intuitive process. Trust what your body knows again. It's a very integrative approach. Um, thank you for the hearts. Thank you for the love, Cindy. So yeah, so I just want to plant some seeds and give you a couple of ways that are easy and, and, and simple that you can take back your health and, and, and start to feel alive again, start to feel vital again. And, and the first place is to just start looking at how, what, what does your diet look like? And if you don't know what that looks like, go and explore what you're eating. Keep a food diary or come and see me or go and see a functional integrative health practitioner to look at what is right for your dosha, what is right for your five element type to be happy and healthy because you can activate your vagus nerve. Um, th this is the master nerve that is so important and doesn't get enough uh, airspace because it influences your moods, it influences your digestion. And I show you a lot of ways to to do this for yourself on my YouTube channel. And and I won't go into it now, but it starts with, with voo, the voo sound. And then there are some other pragmatic ways that you can really start to strengthen your vagal tone. Um, and it works, the stuff works, but you have to do it. It's the same as uh, coconut pulling is another great way to really start to eliminate any sort of excess toxic buildup in your body. So just start, just start small, one step at a time. Are you hydrating? Are you drinking enough water? Um, are you eating clean food? Are you getting good sleep? Um, looking at some of your lifestyle patterns um, and look at where you can start, start tightening up on, on being your own medicine and, and get stronger. All right, I'm back again. I'm so sorry. I shouldn't apologize because it's not my fault. But um, 
it's your YouTube channel under your name. Cindy, I will post the link below because actually, I don't know. I think it's under true, access your true nature, but I will post a link below to the Vegas tone exercises so that you can start playing with that. Um, my kid, my kid loves it. And I've had so many clients f uh, give me feedback on that they do this on in the car on the way to school with their children, and it and it just sort of settles them and connects them into their body, and everything just starts to feel better, um, uh, more inspiration, it, more in the communication, and and lots of lots of great feedback on on Vegas tone. So you know, look at other ways that you can do this. Is that you can look at at how can you optimize good mac my bacterial microbes in your gut. I love fermenting um, and again there's so many great tutorials on YouTube about how to make your own ferments. I love to make sauerkraut, I make doggy yogurt um, which is just a nice fermented soup of vegetable um, peel for my animals and and they're just such simple ways and inexpensive ways and you're going to get a whole bunch more um, live bifido and and second and third generation microbes uh, from your own ferments than you will ever from from a tablet that you buy over over a counter but I do like the metagenics um, probiotic it's a really really good one you have to keep it in the fridge um, because it's alive so you know look at how you can start having more fun and and empowering yourself to to make your own ferments and your own probiotics and prebiotics. Um, another one that I've just done for the puppy is one with blueberries. So it, again, it's very simple. If you'd like the recipe, um, let me know. It's so simple, but just a couple of blueberries in the solution of, of uh, raw honey and water and you let them ferment for two, two, 10 or 12 days. And then just popping two or three of those blueberries into your children's into your children's ser uh, muesli in the morning, or um, into your dog's food, or popping them in your mouth just as a treat, is going to really help you to help your gut get strong and increase your in increase your intuition, um, so that you can be happy and healthy. And just remember, you can you can treat your dysbiosis to make room for a good bi bacteria just by taking two or three of those little blueberries every single day. Um, how could it be easier than that? And again, if you'd like that recipe, let me know. Uh, there's so much available on YouTube, and uh, I've just seen such a huge turnaround in Dove Rover in the last couple of days because he's, his gut health is getting stronger and as his gut health is, has got stronger, he is becoming more confident. And yes, I'm using the trust process with him as well. And yes, we're spending a lot of time building his confidence and socializing him and meeting new people, but everything builds on everything else. So it's never one thing, okay? It's never one thing that changes it. it is. It is this accumulation of good lifestyle protocol that actually can start changing everything for you. So just start with one small step and I'd love to know um, what one thing you're going to do to support your gut and, and return to trust by, by having a body that is healthy and strong to support you in that. So look at the quality of your foods, add some probiotics, do some vagal tone exercises. And, and then take some time, take some time to really look at how are you nourishing your, your body through your environment. Are you bringing in um, positive, inspiring people into your, into your space? Are you reading books that fill you up or listening to music that fills you up? Or are you sitting in this place where you're actively working with doubt because you're thinking all the time, you know, doubt is the killer of all dreams because we're thinking, oh, you know, why would this work? I've tried everything else. This is, this is where I see most of my clients. They're at the end of their rope. They're at the end of their tether because they are exhausted. They have tried so many things. They've spent so much time and money and energy on, on trying to get themselves into a place where they're feeling alive and fulfilled and, and healthy. Hi, Colleen, I'm definitely getting, be absolutely, Cindy, you betcha. Uh, go make yourself a beautiful batch of, of sauerkraut or kimchi um, 
as well because they're so good for you and I sometimes just drink the juice or I'll put some of the juice into my into my um, juice when I juice in the morning uh, just to give my body that extra boost because I know that when I'm starting to feel really low and I'm feeling doubt and I'm feeling a little depressed and a little off first thing I look to is how have I been eating for the last couple of days how much sleep have I been getting you know uh, how much time have I been spending in 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 front of the computer EMFs are one of the killers and we don't have enough ev scientific evidence yet on what what all these electromagnetic frequencies from being constantly on on the phone having Wi-Fi blasting in our in our homes is actually doing to our brains and how it's upsetting the the balance in our body so if you are on the computer a lot go and get some go and get a ma an electromagnetic frequency mat get some protectors uh, give yourself some breaks get out in nature go sit on sit on the earth ground yourself uh, you can get great grounding mats I have uh, biogeometric uh, uh, resonators and also protectors on my computer screens uh, you can get those from biogeometry.com site um, or make your own you know there's so much that's available for you but just look at you know pay attention to where you are what you're putting in your body from all aspects of the mind to the body and and emotionally because that this is how we get upset and then we wonder why we get an upset stomach um, look at that as as what is the gift here what is your body asking you to show you uh, what do you need to add to support your body what do you need to take away um, start to speak to doubt start to speak to to the parts of you that know so that you can turn up the intuitive process of trusting that your body knows you better than you your body knows you better than anybody including the best doctors or practitioners out there you know your body you know what works for you and what doesn't and if you have things that are upsetting your gut take them out of your diet I love Sarah Godfrey's 21, um, I think it's a 21 day elimination diet. It is brilliant and it's the protocol that I follow in my own practice of eliminating everything and then start to, to bring back um, certain things and see one at a time so that you actually know what it is that's upsetting your gut. Um, gluten is a big one, uh, wheat is a big one. Um, that's why I feed my animals raw because animals especially cats they can't just they're not they're they're meat eaters dogs are are our ga hunter gatherers they're the little four four-legged vacuum cleaners they'll eat everything so giving them real food real live food uh, eggs I give my my dogs in the past I've always given them eggs with the shell and everything because that's what they would be doing in the wild they'd be eating a few berries um, now is he actively working with this all the time and I know how easy it is to to slip off what works for you Colleen says emotional filters uh, most important filters to have absolutely and this again it's like where can you where do you need to, to tighten up on your boundaries where do you need to um, let some things go uh, where are you where are you out of congruence where are you out of integrity with your body and your body's knowing and your Okay, I'm really having having issues with the, the internet today, so I'm going to leave it at that. Um, if you would like more information about how to strengthen your intuition, how to strengthen your gut health or that of your animals, please like this, share this, PM me, um, give this, uh, share this with other people. The more people that know about this, uh, the better the world is going to be. And um, I'm going to just turn this around so you can see little little Rover. Um, he is doing so beautifully on this new diet and um, and and he's really coming out of his shell so I'm gonna turn around so you say hi hey say hi Rover say hi to the people say hi people say hi people hmm? hello my boy and there's Winston over there I don't know if you can see him but that's it that's it for me guys um, come on Rover we're gonna go and take take a little walk around the neighborhood and um, stretch our legs so get out of nature know that I love you and I probably be let me know if you'd be interested in a webinar to look at how you can get rid of excess tummy bloat and um, tap back into your joy of life 
and I will put a webinar together for, for that next week in a private group. So if that interests you,